I had y'all this is Stone Hook in Owens, Texas. And that I'm gonna show how I take the ordinary field point and turn it into a little adapter like this. Build a mount stone point onto a modern day arrow. It goes through it and put it on anything with the insert. These two axes right here are crossbow bolts. They're made to go about 400 feet per second. The field point though, it starts out 100 grains. And the insert, the best I can do is get it down to about 60 grains. That only leaves you 40 grains for a point. So they have to be pretty thin. These two are both about seven eighths and fifteen sixteenths I think wide. But they both weigh exactly a hundred grains with the insert and the point. And they shoot perfect. I'm gonna show you how I go about making the little adapter. Like this. I just use an old arrow, this is an old arrow, they ain't got no clenching or nothing. Put it in there and it happens. Tighten it, because if you don't, the vibration of the grinder will just unwind it. I use this big old side grinder with a little cut off wheel. And guard. What I'm gonna do first is cut off the tip of this thing and try to hit about a diameter as big as that little groove there is wide. And that gives you something to reference the width of the groove by. So I'm gonna cut the tip off first. It'll be noisy. But Cool. The next step, we'll just put it right down the middle, best I can. I mean, dead center. And you gotta take it slow and easy, and eyeball dead center and keep it. I think I might need to turn it a little bit. Hard to tell. But anyway, I won't be able to talk because it'll be loud, but I'm gonna just. Grind a little and cool it. Grind a little and cool touching the aluminum of the in, the, the arrow because you got to be able to remove as much steel as you possibly can and that steel is more than adequately strong enough 
even being very thin to support the stone point. So now you can see the end of this thing. I got the groove in there, but I still got a, a diameter on both sides where I flattened it off. And I'm gonna just taper that groove out to them, make a, a B groove shape notch. The same thing, I'm just take my time. That thing's a little bit hot though. I'm gonna cool just take my time and grind a little bit off each side and look, make sure my till I work it right to the where the edge of that flat spot is. Right there. typically use and it, it's kind of big diameter hard to hold <laughs> but if you can see how that groove is just starting to widen out up here and you got the indicator of your little flat spot see I'm practically there on that side Maybe, yeah, I can't see the little flat spot you can still see a little bit of it there so I got a little bit more to take off there and quite a bit there's way more of the flat spot showing on this side so I got a little bit more to take off of that side if you look sometimes if you ain't perfectly parallel with the axis you might need to take more off of this side of this than that right there so this side looks pretty good but this side you can kind of tell it's all set so I need to take off material right there Getting real close though. I still need a little bit right off this right there. I can tell. Same thing on that and right there. Why I do that though is just by rotating this arrow. I mean, when you're grinding, if you rotate this arrow back and forth, you know that that affects how how in line you are with the your axis of the groove.
Look at the nest at it. Looks pretty good. I think if I turn it over here, I still got a lot of material right on this side right there. Needs to come off actually to center up that groove perfectly with the arrow. So I'm gonna rotate it enough that I grind do most of my grinding right here along this edge right there. I like to turn it upside down because this is that's the side I, I can see what I'm doing actually. If I grind on this on this back side, I can't really see what I'm grinding. I can see real well right here on this side. So I'm gonna just turn that arrow a little bit. Must be able to be grinding right back here on this back edge. Just looking it over, it looks like I need to widen this groove a little bit right there. And maybe right in there. Like both sides actually I'm gonna just move the bottom of that groove over that way a little bit. Widen it out. off right there just now. get a good groove cut and you satisfied it pretty well centered. I'm gonna take a belt sander and just hold this arrow at an angle where I grind this thing down and try to intersect where this aluminum out actually the back corner of the field point. A straight taper to that little fine point right there on the end. Take quite a bit of sanding, so let's take a minute.
you got to start slow and work that shoulder down and uh, keep it kind of cool. I'm going to move the water over to the other side. It's really not even hot yet. So I'm going to keep sanding. See how that, that flat spot is just working its way back and forward. I probably should have put a little force of belt on this thing. Tapering it on down. The closer you get, the more slower it goes because it's just more material. I mean, you got to remove material the whole width of that thing. Is. I'm going to keep going until I just skin this edge, this back corner, and get these two to a nice shape. too much on this side I let it hit the aluminum of the, the insert. That's alright, I can make the other side match that when I get to that, but you just gotta keep your eye on it till you I really hit my corner back here and I ain't quite thin enough out here on the point so I'm gonna I'm gonna angle it in a little more and take a little more off these points.
that tapered down pretty good, but I'm gonna actually taper it a little bit more to see it's still pretty wide. There's still a lot of steel there that really don't have to be there. <coughs> it won't amount to much, even, not even a grain. It takes a lot of steel to make a grain when you're sanding it off like this. this side match this side how much it ground into that aluminum Well, I'm gonna have to call that in. It. It's been 24 minutes. Let me cool it. It's got some little burrs here and there, you know, sand off a piece of sandpaper or something. But... for a uh, stone point. By looking at my groove, I can see I dug a little bit deeper on this side than this, than I did this side, so I'm gonna touch up the bottom of that groove. Other than that, it's ready for a point. I'll come back over the weekend and make a video of making a point and how to half them into this thing perfectly in line and balanced. Yeah, they shoot good. And they really don't even have to be that well. I've, I've mounted them all center on purpose to see how much it would affect the arrow, and it don't affect it at all. I got another one I've mounted up really crooked, and then just chipped it more crooked that I'm going to shoot and see how it does. But I'm really, it'll hit right where I'm aiming, I bet you. Anyway, I'll be back. <laughs>